Hello everyone, it's Luke here from 3D Tutor. In this tutorial, I will show you three different ways for which you can change a gizmo location of an object directly within Unreal Engine 5 project. The first way would be to change it temporarily by holding Ctrl and Alt and then using your middle mouse button to click and hold it on your gizmo. You can move the gizmo outside of the object like so without affecting the location of an object itself. So for example, right now I can position my gizmo to be in the middle of the platform like so. I can use this gizmo now to move the to move our object around our desired location like so. However, this type of change for the gizmo is not going to last long as the moment you change to another object and go back onto it, you'll notice that the location for the gizmo will get back into the default state. Another way that we can change the location of our gizmo is by making use out of the 3D modeling toolkit. Before using that, we need to make sure that within the plugins, our modeling kit is turned on. Within the plugins menu, we need to search for modeling, a modeling tools editor mode. We need to make sure that this plugin is enabled. Click yes, then restart your Unreal Engine project. Make sure to save everything. With that done, we can go ahead and close our plugins window. Then within the upper left corner, we can change it from select mode to a modeling mode like so, which will give us a bunch of options for us to use. But what we want is we want to use the transform tab, and we're going to be using an edit pivot button over here. So let's go ahead and click. Then we're going to get ourselves this sort of a gizmo like so, which we can manipulate it the way we want it to. I'll just position my one right underneath this pillar like so. Then once we click accept, we're going to get ourselves a gizmo that's going to be permanently changed. So now we can duplicate our object and this type of object will still contain the same type of gizmo, which is quite nice. One thing to know though, is that if you are having the object already placed within the scene and then are thinking to edit the mesh pivot point, if we were to move our gizmo, let's say to the middle of the pillar like so, and then hit accept, you'll notice that the other objects will switch the positions. And that is because they're placed with the gizmo being its grounding point. So it remembers that the gizmo that we had before was placed on the ground like so. And because right now our gizmo is within the middle, within the center of our pillar, it basically drags the entire mesh downwards. So that is something that you should consider while editing the gizmo this kind of way. Now if we'll put it back, you'll notice that it'll go back up like that. The final way for which we can change the location of our gizmo is by simply creating another item for our scene and then making use out of it as a location for the gizmo. So for that, we can simply create a, let's say a sphere, and we can disable the visibility for it. So if we were to just untick the rendering box for the visible, we can disable the smash, and we get a gizmo just like that. Now all we need to do is make sure that our pillar goes into the object. So all we have to do is simply drag and drop it into it, so now it's attached to the pillar. We can also rename it by clicking F2 and just calling it as a pillar. Just like that, we're going to get ourselves a pivot point that will help us move the location of our object. If we want to edit the gizmo by itself, we'd have to move our object outside of our actor so 
to do that, we can just simply drag it outwards like so. And now we have our gizmo, which we can edit it back the way we want it to. I'll just reposition my point to the center of this platform. And once we have it ready to go, we can put our object back onto our gizmo and use it as is. In order to duplicate it, we'd have to select both the gizmo and an object by holding shift. Then we can click control C and control V to duplicate it. And we'd get ourselves a separate gizmo that's located within our previous gizmo. And now we can move it outwards like so. So by doing it like that, we can manipulate our object from within the desired area. So that's it guys. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to check out our other online goods that we have. We do online courses as well as create 3D assets and PBR textures. All the links can be found in the description down below. Thanks for watching.